Hi guys, Peter Finch here and today we're going to do a video all about balance and how you can maintain your balance throughout the full goal swing. Uh, we can do chipping and pitching as well, uh, maybe in a later video, but this is all going to be focused around the full swing. Now, balance is important. Balance is very, very important within the goal swing for a number of reasons. The biggest reason is control and the consistency as well. You'll tend to find that when you look at the really best players hit a great shot, and even you know the playing partners that you have at the weekend, the good players at your club, they'll hit a good shot and they will hold that finish position. For a, they will hold that finish position all the way till the shot actually finishes. Now, half of this is posing, half of this is trying to look good, but the other half is the fact that they have controlled their swing in a way that they've maintained their balance. Now, if you were to picture a balanced goal swing you've obviously got that kind of iconic pose at the top of the goal swing when the ball has been hit but that comes from a balanced swing that is the product of a balanced swing that is not the goal so that balance finish yes it looks lovely but all the work to actually get to that point happens within the goal swing itself now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a very simple way of seeing if you have good balance a good way of maintaining balance and also what you want to be doing with your body weight throughout the swing and with a couple of quick drills that we can do as well now the first thing that you want to be doing is allowing yourself to understand what your body weight should be doing throughout the swing because that is an absolutely key component of this. We can talk very, very technically about this, but we're going to, first of all, just kind of break this down into its most simplest kind of parts. When you're having a goal swing, you want your weight to be transferring between your feet. And often when you see top professionals, it almost looks like there's hardly anything going on at all. But when you get people on a force plate, so to actually measure where body weight is going, it can show some quite surprising things. But mostly within the very best plays, within the very best shots, it shows very similar things. Now, what force plates show and what you want to be doing when you're having a balance swing is as you take the club away, you want your weight to be transferring onto your right side, onto your right knee. But a good way of thinking about this and a good drill to use for balance is as you're taking the club away, try and get the weight transferring into your right heel. So as you take the club away, try and feel that the weight is transferring into the right heel. Now, this is not, this is not a case of you going, all the way over here onto your right foot. You want to be keeping your head nice and still, nice and steady, and on the way back, really feel that your weight is into your right heel. Now that will transfer your weight backwards and it will get it in the correct position. If you're looking at a real kind of percentage wise, you're looking about 70% of your weight onto your right heel. But depending on what type of shot you can going for, you know, that can change and that can kind of be moved around as well. So that's on the backswing. So moving that weight into the right heel, trying to keep that head nice and steady. Then as you're actually moving through the ball, transferring it down into the left heel. And it really can be as simple as that. So if you're having some practice swings and you say go 70% into the right heel, 70% into the left heel as you're swinging and as you're hitting. Because not really many people think as far as swing technique and swing dynamics go, not a lot of people focus on the feet. They kind of skip past them and start focusing on play and hand position, arm position, all the rest of it, where actually it's your only connection to the surface, it's your only connection to earth. So all your power and all your balance is gonna be drawn up from your feet and from all your legs. So the first things first, before we kind of move on to specific drills about this, getting yourself in a nice setup. I'm just gonna clip in a few little pitch shots here, I'm not hitting this too hard. Getting into that setup, I'm going to take the club away, not thinking about anything else apart from my weight distribution. But I'm going to keep my head still, weight into my right heel, and then as I come through, I'm just going to move that weight into my left heel. So I've taken it back right heel, moved it through into the left heel. As simple as that. But let's have a think about some ways you can actually visualize this a little bit better. So what I've got set up here is a bit of a visualization that you can use and a drill that you can use to try and improve your balance. And it is very, very simple. And everything about this is very, very simple because balancing 
whilst doing practice swings, for example, isn't hard to do. But this will give you a bit of a better understanding of when you're actually hitting shots as well. So what I've got here is I've got an alignment stick set up along my heel line. So I'm gonna actually be standing on this. And then I've also got some alignment sticks here, which represent what I wanna be doing with my weight throughout impact, but actually what is happening to my weight throughout impact as well in reality. So, first of all, getting set up, and I've got my heels pressed down here onto the alignment stick. You don't want it in the middle of your feet, you just want it on your heels so you can feel it on your heels as well. Now your weight distribution to begin with is gonna be on the balls of your feet, so pretty much in the middle, so you don't wanna be pressing down onto your heels to begin with. So the weight's kind of onto the balls of your feet here. And as you take the club back, that weight transfers onto the right side and it follows this white alignment stick. If you imagine your weight transferring along this white alignment stick on the back, so it transfers back, moves backwards towards the heel, weight is shifted onto my right side, into my right heel, but I've not rocked backwards. And this is the key, a lot of people think that if they transfer their weight into their right heel, they're gonna be falling off to the back. That's not the case. If the posture is solid and the weight distribution uh, the dress is nice and even in the balls of your feet. As you take it back and that weight transfers into the right heel and your head stays nice and central, you will not overbalance backwards. Trust me, give me the go. Don't trust me, trust yourself. So that <laughs> first kind of movement away into the right heel. Now as I'm moving back, my weight is gonna be transferring back to its original position kind of in the middle. And as I'm coming down into impact, I'm really moving now my weight along this back alignment stick here into my left heel. So it's moving in that direction. And then the body clears upwards, and I'm trying to finish in that up position here with my left heel still planted down on the alignment stick. As long as that right heel kind of lifts up and away from that back alignment stick, you know your weight's not been maintained on your right side. So, really simple. Getting in that alignment, getting in that setup position, weight nice and even onto the balls of the feet. And I'm gonna transfer back along this alignment stick, keeping my head nice and steady into the heel, move it back along this front alignment stick before impact and shift into my left heel. And then try and come up to a nice balanced position. It's a really, really simple way of actually figuring out what you want your weight distribution to be doing throughout the swing and what you want your feet to be doing throughout the swing as well. There are other things you can do about balance. You can talk about finish points, so weight on the left side, chest facing the target, kind of weight all over onto the front side. But really, this is just a nice, simple way for you to think about it. And there are other drills. And if you want more drills and more videos about balance, please let me know. Right guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. And we will see you down here next time.